Okay, welcome back to the second part of uh, the ADCC BMX build. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to put the sprocket on the rear wheel. I got a lot of hardware here. So, as I mentioned in my first video, there is no instructions with this kit. So we're going to do this by... Uh, Imagination, I guess, as you can see. So, here's the sprocket, and I don't know if you guys can see, but um, the teeth are offset. So, I would think that the teeth, the stick out part, would, uh, would go face out. So, this would basically go on the wheel with the rubber spacer up against the spokes then this would go on the inside of the spokes attached to here so the spokes would actually sit in between here and then the hardware let's get to it uh they give you here two sizes of washers for the rear sprocket so I'm gonna go here and say that the big sprocket sorry the, the big washer would go on the sprocket because the holes are elongated and the smaller washer would go on the inside on the inside brackets because the holes are smaller so that's how we're gonna go with this which on most wheels you'll notice that the sprocket the size of the hole will automatically center itself on the wheel axle now what we need to do is try to get this inside And the only way we can get this on the inside, one of them should be sliced, but it's not. So what I'm going to have to do is slice one of these so I can get it around the hub here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one of them have to go on the inside because there's no way two of them should be on the outside. There would be nothing to protect the, um, the spokes on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and slice this. Okay, I went ahead and sliced it. And I'm going to try to get it in here. This wheel here has so many spokes. I don't know how many spokes are in here, but it's a heavy duty wheel and it's hard for me to get my fingers in there. This one will go here. And the gear. Okay, uh, the smaller washers that they supplied for the inside won't even fit over a bolt so I'm not going to be using them I'm just going to go with the nut and the lock washer it actually came with um, it actually came with the uh, lock washers and nylon nuts so that's more than sufficient to hold it These things aren't, these 40, uh, sorry, 80cc engines, they're not built for BMX bikes. They're more for mountain bikes. That's why I'm going to have a hard time putting that motor in my frame. And, uh, but for those of you that do install this on a mountain bike, your spokes won't be as close together as this. So it'll be a lot easier for you to put it together. Aha! Go! 
Mark 1. Mark Walker. Still got to get the nut in there. Got to get the nut on there now. As you guys can see, there's no way I'm going to get this engine inside this small space. So, I have two choices here. One is to give up this project and put this kit on a mountain bike, but, and second, is to modify this to get this engine in there and like i said i want to put this engine on a bmx not on a mountain bike that's i didn't buy it to put it on a mountain bike so i'm going to stick to this build i'm going to modify this and i will get this engine in there so stay tuned Start. as you guys can see the engine fits in there perfect now so my main thing now is to make this look like it was factory made so I'm gonna come up with something on how to connect this bar back up with this one I don't want to go up and over because it's gonna make it look like um, China made I want to make it look like Portuguese made where I'm from so I'm gonna design this and come up with something to make it look half decent make it look like it it came from the factory like that as you guys can see here the diameter of this tubing on the bike is too wide or thick for the oops that was the gas tank uh for these bolts to go down uh sorry for these bolts to go down and so i can put the bracket here to hold the engine the back one is okay so i'm gonna have to modify that also but in order for me to do this, I need to connect this pipe now back to here. So this clutch, I'm, I'm thinking it goes this way. I'm not sure if it goes that way. Oh, no, it doesn't. It goes that way. So the clutch goes, the clutch goes that way. So I got to think of that too. That's a lot of modifications for a BMX. Okay, what I'm going to be using here to bring this around is I'm going to use conduit. And what this pipe is, uh, I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. It's, well, I'm pretty sure you heard of it. It's, um, pipe that they sell the the um, pipe that they put in the industrial uh, places to run um, electrical wire to it this stuff is galvanized and galvanized is uh, very toxic to welding so if you guys ever use this stuff just make sure you wear a mask and I don't have I have a, a, a pipe bender but I don't have a tube bender and what happens if when I bend this stuff it kinks it a lot so I want to make curves on here so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it on 45 degrees ang 
45 degree angles a few pieces and try to make my own curb and then grind it down and see if that comes out nice so let me get to it Okay, what I did there, I just blocked the hole in the pipe there, on the pipe. So I'm going to grind that down nice before I, before I put the bars here. Okay, what I'm doing here, I'm cutting a notch and I'm going to bend this pipe slowly over. So I'm going to weld this piece here. So when I make another notch, this piece won't move anymore. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fill this these gaps in here and then grind it nice and round here and then I'm gonna go on to this curve over here. Okay guys, it started raining outside, so you've seen what I'm going to do with the with those bars to fix the frame that I cut, and I'm going to finish that off, and I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm going to end this video here, because I can't really do anything else for the next day or so, because of the rain, but stay tuned for the third part of this, this build. This bike is going to come out awesome. Uh, at Tsar, David Johnson, thank you so much for commenting on my uh, videos. And you guys out there, go check out their channels. They have some great videos up. up. Um, and yeah, you guys all, thanks for watching. Cheers.